In any normal year, Wimbledon marks the start of summer for many British tennis fans. But for the hundreds of people who work hard each year to make the event a success, this summer is looking a little different. So I am part of the information team at Wimbledon and that is a wonderful role to have because we are in booths around the grounds and we are face to public and talking to people all day long and giving them all the information that they might need. I was really fortunate one year, I came to be in this role because I met a friend and she had a Wimbledon t-shirt on and I love watching Wimbledon and I've only been a couple of times myself but I asked her how she got her t-shirt and she was on the information team and so she told me about it and there were interviews the following year just when I was able to participate and so I uh, applied for the job and in fact got it which was wonderful. We were hopeful for quite a while that Wimbledon would be able to carry on and we were already in lockdown when they told us that in fact all big sporting events were cancelled and Wimbledon was going to be cancelled too, um, which was such a disappointment. Wimbledon is full of favourite memories and if you ask any of my uh, colleagues in the information booths or other, um, other staff on the site, they would give you so many different kinds of memories, but probably most of us would go back to that glorious moment when Andy Murray won um, for the second time and came out on the balcony and he was holding the cup up and the crowd was ecstatic and it was such an emotional moment. So yes, watching Andy Murray lift his, the, the great trophy before us all was wonderful. When I was watching as a, as a younger person, I used to love the generation which had um, Andre Agassi and, um, and the wonderful matches between um, uh, Connors and Cash and or people like that were just um, magnificent. Nowadays, um, I always like to follow the English players, um, being very patriotic. And in particular though, I love watching seniors play because they are so entertaining, like um, Mansur Barami, the Indian player who entertains the crowds and makes us all hoot with laughter. Women's tennis is fantastically exciting. I love it. I love watching the, um, the young, incredibly flexible, athletic hopefuls coming up. And then of course there are the greats like Martina and Serena. Um, the women's game is, is wonderful. But in fact, I probably, I hunt out, if I'm able to get to a match in a break, I will hunt out in the second week the wheelchair tennis. I think that's my favorite of all, simply because um, it is so, I, I, because I can't imagine doing it myself, I can't imagine the agility and the strength of these fantastic players and of course it was doubly wonderful um, because although they didn't win in 19 but um, there were the British greats um, Reed and Hewitt who are magnificent to watch and then you've got Didi de Groot um, an amazingly agile wheelchair player and I can't I, it's extraordinary to me how they find the ball and how they get those wheelchairs covering the court and the teamwork um, in the doubles is just superb. I love it. What I'll miss most this year is there's so many things. I'll miss the atmosphere. I'll miss my colleagues. I'll miss just the buzz and the long days where at the beginning of the day you're all excited about what's going to happen. At the end of the day you've got these wonderful sensations of joy or disappointment. Um, I'll miss the glorious food in the canteen actually as well <laughs> and the sights of the public just enjoying themselves and the big noise. It's just such a fabulous event. Um, my colleagues and I uh, communicate with one another and there is social media and we're all missing it. We're all looking forward so much to going back next year. That will be a great moment.